hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video it's going to be a bit of a different one um how are you all doing i know it's weird isn't it it's so weird when you've listened to someone well some of you for two years and then you finally see their face it's very strange um so i thought i would do a bit of a week in my life um kind of vlog kind of making stuff sort of thing i've been asked to do it for a little while now and i thought it's probably a good opportunity while i prep all of the stuff in my Etsy shop for a, for a video that I'm going to create, um, which I can link to my shop um, so that people can see what I do actually make uh, if they sell out. Um, so that's what I've been prepping in the last sort of week or so. So this vlog has been filmed between like mid-May um, for about a week, just over a week. So um, it starts off in London. I'm in London for work. Um, I'll take you along a little bit. It's quite boring, to be honest. Uh, and then I come home and we make a lot of binders, a lot, uh, and a lot of placeholders or some placeholders, some five pound challenges, and then I prep for the video um, that I'm gonna create. So I thought as well, it might be good to have something to put out while I'm away, um, cause I'm gonna miss a couple of cash stuff and videos. Not that I think you're gonna miss us, but I might as well put something out <laughs> if I can. So um, I kind of mentioned during this vlog, cause I've already filmed a lot of it, that I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this and I'm, I'm filming this now and I'm still not sure, but if you're watching this, I clearly have. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, be kind, <laughs> please. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be in two parts uh, because it ended up, filming all of the making of my binders just took so long and I even sped up. Um, I, I decided to split this into two parts. So this will be the first part and then the next part will be out probably in a few days or a week's time. So enjoy. Just got to my hotel, my train was fine. Delayed by about 10 minutes, but that's pretty normal. So I'm staying in a Hilton uh, in Angel, Islington. I work in the city, so, but I don't tend to stay there because there's nothing there. It's just banks. <laughs> there's a few bars and stuff, but if I come on a Sunday, like there's not much open on a Sunday night. So I tend to stay somewhere a bit, it's like a couple of stops away on the tube and um, it's dead easy to get to. So I'm here, I'm gonna go and get some food. I am meeting a friend um, from my area who's here as well on work. And we're gonna go and get some drinks. And I tried on the train to do some redesigning. <laughs> uh, but the signal's just shocking. And so I haven't really been able to get much done. Um, so I'm watching the post office inquiry, because I'm sad. And before I go out, because I've got, I've got a few minutes, um, I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I just released the pictures of the new binders that I designed. So we've got the Errol binder coming and we've got the Snitch. Um, and I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who loves the designs and can't wait for them to be released. So what I'm hoping to do, I said in one of my videos, is make one of each design. Um, and then I'm going to do a video that I can link to my Etsy shop uh, to show all the designs I've got in my shop. Um, as well as the placeholders, the five pound challenge and the rest of it. Um, and I'm going to do that when I'm back from London, which is on Thursday. Um, so I'll spend like Friday evening, Saturday doing that. I am meeting my sisters on Saturday during the day. I'm going to get some last minute bits for the Western Balkans. I don't even know what I need. I haven't even looked. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm so panicking because like I'm in London this week, I'm in London next week. And then I think I've got like five days at home before I go to the Western Balkans. Um, so lucky I've got no kids, mind, or a family, because I kind of cope with this. Never mind having them. Don't know how he's all do it. I genuinely don't know how he's all do it. I'll be re-sort re of jigging my Etsy shop to make it easier to pick the designs and the target amounts going forward. I try to do a bit of that on the train as well, but ugh, no signal. Um, so yeah, see you soon. I'm 
back from London. I got back yesterday. Um, so I'm back in my kitchen. Oh, look. Kettle gates in the corner there. If you know, you know. So I'm just creating all of, uh, like one example of all of my binders now. It's Friday at like, I don't know, four o'clock. I've logged off work. I can't be bothered to work anymore for my actual job. So I'm, uh, I'm making binders. Um, these are, let me just switch you around. So these are the, um, the binders that I'm gonna make, like each, like an example of each of them. So I've chosen like random amounts. So this is the thistle binder. That one's quite popular actually. Then we've got the honeybee. Then we've got um, the moo binder. And then these are the wizard and ones I'm gonna bring back. So this is serpent. This is badger. So that's gonna have black final. I haven't made a finished product yet. This is lion. And then this is eagle. And then this is hallows. Then this one here is Oceana. This is the OG, the original candy floss. Then we have watermelon. Then we have summer haze. And then we have iris. So this is the one with the holographic rainbow vinyl on it. Um, so I'm just prepping a load of envelopes to make these binders. I've already obviously done the trackers. This is the um, laminator I use to make the trackers. I don't use this laminator for making envelopes. It's just, it's too heavy duty and I find the cheaper laminators make the best clear envelopes. That's my vinyl collection. That's my terrible garden. Don't look at it. Don't look at the bird bath. Don't look at the, the grass because it's absolutely horrendous. Um, and there's the rose. And I'm getting a few more actually. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing. So I can sort of take you through, um, I mean, I've, I've got a tutorial out there of making binders, but I guess if I'm true to the normal vlogs of pe that people do, I could show you a bit of making stuff and like speed it up a bit. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, and I'll take you along with me. So I just want to say while I'm doing this um, that anyone who's watched my tutorial video, thank you very much because I think it's my most popular video on my YouTube channel. So thank you for that. Um, I have, I mean that was two years ago now when I made that video. So I have changed up quite a bit how I make binders now. Um, just as you evolve and as you learn um, and as I had a lot of trial and error at the start. And that was pretty close to the start of my Etsy shop that I made that video. So I have changed quite a bit now. Um, not, not fundamentally, not greatly, but particularly how I do the track as has completely changed now than what it was. Um, so I've already made these track as, so I'll not take you through that. And the rest of it, I guess, is pretty much the same um, to the video that I posted. Uh, so yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched it. And if it's helped anybody make their own, um, thank you. And I hope it does sort of bring into light how much work goes into each of one of these, because when I do sell on Etsy, of course, you know, they're very popular still and they sell out quite quickly, but I am very conscious of, you know, the price of them. And it took me a long time to figure out the price, um, the price point. So I think a lot of Etsy shops who make the same binders as me now, um, either sell them pretty much identically priced to me, which is fine, which is fine. Um, <coughs> excuse me, some sell them a little bit cheaper, um, which is also fine, but they're all a bit different, aren't they? Like some don't have as many envelopes in, as, as I have in mine. Um, or the design is slightly different. So, um, you know, I'm sure it's right for them. Um, since that video two years ago, my price point has increased a little bit because I went right back through all the materials that I'm um, having to buy and the Etsy fees, which just continuously go up and up. Um, obviously the postage is included uh, on my price and I wasn't really factoring in my time if I'm really honest um and I was finding myself 
well, I still do really, I don't really do much else in my life. I mean, I have my, sometimes I'll have plans on a weekend. Um, I always go to my parents for Sunday dinner on a Sunday. Um, that's non-negotiable for me. I have to do that. I want to do that. Um, but generally, all my other time is spent doing this. And you know, it's fine because I choose to do it. It supplements my income massively. It helps me to travel the world. So thank you to those of you who have purchased from me. I know it's quite a big expense on the, at the outset to buy a binder. Like they're not cheap, they're not. And if you're budgeting, then I completely understand why some people would say like that's too expensive. Of course I do. Um, what I would say though, is I get lots of messages from people saying, you know, it's helped me save, say a thousand pound or it's helped me save 2000 or more. And so I guess it's a, it's an investment in some ways into you and your future and your finances, um, which is how I see it. Of course, I'm going to say that, aren't I? <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you to those who've watched that video. I'm not going to make another one. I think it's, you know, it's as close to how I make them now as it was. So I don't think there's any point in doing anything new. Um, I was asked about doing a video uh, making placeholders and I thought about it, but guys, it would be really short, you know, because they're not, they're really simple to me. Um, so if you want us to, oh Christ, if you want us to, I could, but I'm just not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So anyway, yeah, thanks very much. This is the first time I'm weeding this badger design and I'm already seeing that the badgers themselves are going to be a bit of a nightmare. But let's just <laughs> see how they go. Hopefully this one, this one won't be very popular. <laughs> oh crap. And I won't have to um, <laughs> do this one very often. What well, she's all order it out of spite now. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. All right, all right, all right. Let's, shall we do the badgers first? Because holy moly. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness me. Why do I do this to myself? If anyone orders this and there's less than perfect weeding on the badgers, don't uh, don't give me any crap, right? <laughs> oh man, I wonder if I can find a less detailed badger on Canva to use, because um, this is going to be pretty. Um, time consuming now then do i take out has he got an eye yeah i can't even flip and see 
he does have an eye there so if, can I take this bit out I might need to look for a different badger so we might make this one up see how we what we think of the front cover and then perhaps look for a less detailed badger like these numbers are fine um i designed this this uh, Canva, not Canva, Cricket Man, not Canva, Cricket. I designed this ages and ages ago when I was talking about bringing out the badger. Um, so this is the first time I've like actually uh, cut it and I'm weeding it. So I'm going to see what it looks like, but I just, I'm not sure. There's not that many Hufflepuffs out there, are there? You, you, there's not many years, is there? That would... <laughs> That would actually want this because my god what a pain what a pain in the bum
Okay, well, it's the moment of truth. Okay, so I do think this one's a little better. Definitely not as fiddly as the other one. So let's fully weed this and then see how it looks. Just trying to figure out if he's only meant to have one eye. I think he is. All right. So I do like this front cover. He's a little bit long. I might make him slightly shorter. Um, and I think for this one, the black tags will look the best. So tell me what you think, but I'm loving the Badger binder to add to the collection or really to complete the collection of wizarding binders. Badger. Well, guys, it's... 7.35 p.m. Uh, so I've been doing this for a good few hours. Um, already had the envelopes kind of prepared. So we've made these binders here. So Badger, Candy Floss, Watermelon, Summer Haze, Iris, and Thistle. Uh, and to do, we've got Oceana, Moo, Honeybee, Hallows, and then we have Eagle, Lion, whoops, and Serpent. So that's one, two, six, seven left, and I need to make because I've only got a big beast 10K. I need to make a, a condensed version of the 10K. Um, these are the placeholders I have left at the minute. Um, so I'm gonna need to make some more placeholders. So we'll do that and I need to make some five pound challenges and I need to make the paid pl placeholders as well, which I said I was gonna bring out. So that is what I need to do before I do the video to show um, exactly what is going to be in my Etsy shop and how to order etc so um it's 7 35 p.m i'm gonna make some food now i haven't eaten i've had two bananas all day um and i know i've had problems with iron before so i should really look after myself so i'm gonna make i've got some salmon some roasted vegetables you know the ones that you just buy and put in the oven uh and some potatoes so i'm gonna make that now and i'm gonna chill out for the rest of the evening and um, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go and try and get my nails done so I can take you along. And then I'm gonna go out and meet my sisters tomorrow afternoon. So I'm not sure I'm gonna have much time tomorrow to do binders. I do have to work for my full-time job on Sunday morning. Um, I've got a report to write, which I haven't done. Uh, and then I'll be at my parents. So I'll be able to do some stuff on Sunday evening and then again on Monday evening. So hopefully we'll get them all done by like Monday night is my target, but let's see.
Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Saturday morning. I've just come back from getting my nails done. I just went for red uh, with like a matte top coat. Um, I quite like how the matte top coat looks. The sun is shining. It is 11.05 a.m. Um, so I went to get my nails done. I paid some money into the post office and now I'm back. I've got about an hour and a half before I need to like get ready and leave to go to town. So I think I'm gonna see how many of the binders I can get through. We'll prep some more envelopes and then we'll try and make at least one binder. We shall see how we get on because the time is against me and I need, I need to get cracking because I think the rest of the day I'm gonna be um, unavailable to make binders. So let's take you along.
cut this uh, tracker too short, so I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, it's a bit short. I wonder if it's designed too short. I don't know. Anyway, I'll do it again. We'll come back to Oceana. So we've just done two. That's all I've got time for. It's half past 12 and I should have left 15 minutes ago. So, <laughs> um, yeah. We did two and we've got quite a few left. I'm thinking I'm going to make um, a Dis sorry, a, an Enchanted and a new Christmas one as well. So I can show, not my manky ones in the video, we'll show ones that have just been made. everyone it's Sunday it is 12 or 5 p.m. Um, I spent two hours this morning working on my normal day job to get something done that I needed to have done so I'm glad that's finished um, I've got about an hour before I have to leave for my parents for Sunday dinner so I'm just making some envelopes so this is how many we have left over from yesterday so I need to make more in order to make more binders so I'm gonna see what I can get done in the next hour before I have to leave. Uh, so yeah, let's do that.
Hey guys, so it's 8 to 10 p.m. on Sunday. Um, before I went to my parents, I was able to prep a load of envelopes, but I didn't have time to make any binders. So since I've came back, I've made five binders. So I got in about 4.30ish. Um, so we've made lion. Oh God, eagle, serpent, hallows, and honeybee. So they're the five binders we've made. So I'm gonna make uh, a Christmas binder, an enchanted binder, and a condensed version of the 10K so I can show both versions in the video that I'm gonna make. Um, so excuse, I look like I've, I've got a bird's nest on my head now. <laughs> I'm absolutely knackered. So it's 10 past eight. I don't think I've got any energy to do any more today. And I haven't really chilled out this weekend much at all. So uh, I'm gonna go and get ready for bed, like wash my face and everything. Um, and I'm just gonna chill out for a couple of hours and I'm gonna get an early night. So I've got work tomorrow, obviously day job. Um, and I've got meetings all day, I believe. Um, but as soon as I've finished, I'll make those three binders tomorrow evening, I think. And then I just wanna make some placeholders and some five pound challenges. And then I'll be ready to actually film the video. So I want, I'd like to film the video on Tuesday in the light. Um, so we'll see if I can do that around meetings. Um, and then I'll edit it and hopefully get it out either Tuesday night or Wednesday night is the target but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to restock. And if I do post this vlog, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna yet, um, it'll be way past this point anyway. It's probably gonna be June when I upload this. So whatever I say now about restocking just mean is meaningless, but I'll update everybody in my Friday cash stuffing as to when they'll be released. It might even be Friday, but it won't be many because I've realized I go on holiday in like a week <laughs> and I don't have time to make a lot. I've got a lot of it prepared, but the problem is I've chosen the target amounts. So people might order binders and they're completely different to the binders I've actually made. So I can't release too many because I physically can't make them. Um, I go to London on Wednesday. So yeah, if I prep the video on Tuesday, I can put the video out hopefully Wednesday night when I'm back or at least put it live when I'm on the train because I'm just gonna go down and up in a day. I can't afford to be there overnight. So um, that's that. Happy Sunday. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Monday. It is 7.55 a.m. I've just got ready. I've got about 20 minutes or so before I have to start work for the day. So um, I think I'm gonna quickly print off the three trackers that I need to make for the last three binders. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, but I was editing this video last night and it's already up to like an hour. So unless I cut this right back, I'm probably gonna end this here and say it's part one. Um, so thank you for getting to the end if you've got this far. Uh, if you've, hopefully you've enjoyed spending a bit of time with me, you'll realize that my life is pretty much making stuff, which is totally fine. It's good, it's good. Uh, and yeah, I am sort of half thinking about my shop and and perhaps not reopening until I'm back from the Western Balkans. Um, there's a few reasons for it. One, it's stressing me the hell out thinking about restocking on Friday and only having like six days to complete orders and get them out and prep for a holiday. And I just don't think I'm going to have time um, to do it. And what I want to do as well is make sure there's enough available for people because I've obviously promoted the two new binders. I'm bringing out the Badger binder. And I just feel like if I only say there's only 10 binders available across all of my designs, that's like, that's not good. It's really not. And rather than do a really small restock, um, I'd like to do a bigger one when I'm back. So apologies to anyone who thought that they'd be really sturlier than than what they will be um but I'm just thinking I haven't I haven't quite got there in terms of a firm decision yet but I, I'm nearly there I'm nearly there and I will put something out on Instagram and I'll mention it in my cash stuff and video um about a restock but it's more likely to be something like the 15th of June now 16th of June um 
I'm just, what I'm worried about is say I release 12 binders, which I can easily do in a week, um, but they're all completely different to the designs that I've already created. It's just gonna give me no time to prep for my holiday. Um, we do have a bank holiday in that week, but I also just, I feel like I'm a million miles an hour um, and it's not the right way I wanna travel. I want to be like rested and ready. Um, I've spent so long saving for it and looking forward to it that I don't wanna go like stressed a bit. Um, so I think that's what I'll do. I'll leave my shop on holiday, but I'll make some announcements about when it'll be restocked. Um, so apologies for that, but hopefully you understand. Um, and I'll see you in the next part.